Hello everybody, Gladman here. So today we're going to be doing another project, and this time we're going to be using the ultrasonic sensor to be going around inside a box. So um, we're going to be creating a new project. So we click over here, and we're going to do a Lejos EV3 project, clicking next. And we're going to just call this one uh, ultrasonic box. And make sure to use the Java SE-1.7, as that's what the EV3 runs, and it does not run Java 8. So now we're going to click Finish, and then that will appear over here. I'm going to open this dropdown, click on Source, click on the New Package button. I'm just going to call it Pack Finish. I'm going to click on the New Class, and we're just going to call this Ultra Sonic box, just like that. And remember, it all has to be as one word, as in there's no spaces. However, you can make capital letters, and that's how we differentiate between the different words. We're going to add a public static void main method so that we don't need to write that ourselves. And we're going to click Finish. And it's going to appear over here. So we're just going to delete this comment there and create a new ultrasonic box, just like that. Down here, we're going to write that constructor like that. Up here, we need a differential pilot in order to control our robot. So I'm going to do differential pilot, and then we're just going to call it pilot. We need to import that, so let's do that. And down here, we're going to do pilot is assigned a new differential pilot. And then what we do is we enter in the wheel diameter and then the track width. I believe I've used 1.5 for the wheel diameter. And this is, I'm just going to use inches here. And as that's a floating point value, we need to attach an F to the end, do a comma, and then we're going to, I believe we used 6 inches before as our track width. We're going to do motor.a for our left motor, and then motor.b for our right motor. Uh, whatever you have set up on your robot, uh, replace uh, this one with the left motor and this one with whatever port the right motor is plugged into. Now, we need to import the motor class, so we can do that. And now we're going to uh, reuse some of our code that we had previously, so let me just save that real quick. We're going to open up our ultrasonic distance, go down here, and we're going to just look in this real quick. So this was um, our class that we wrote in order to get uh, the distances with the ultrasonic sensor and that was measured in meters. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do right click and then we're going to do copy and then we're going to go over here and we're going to click on our package in our ultrasonic box project right click and then paste. So now we've got that ultrasonic.java in our ultrasonic box class as well uh, or project as well so that we don't need to rewrite that. So we'll close that, close that, and then we'll open this one. And we'll just set it right over there for right now. And we also need to uh, look at how we uh, set up the ultrasonic sensor. So I'm just going to stick that over there and move that right about like that. And I'm just going to uh, move this divider uh, over quite a bit so that we have more room and then in that one as well. So now we need to get our brick, uh, very similar to how we have it over here. We just call that B and then we're going to use our brick finder class. And then we're getting the default. Now we're using the port class and we're going to call it S2 as that's what we have over here. B dot get port and then we're going to use S2 with a capital S. 
and the double quotes are indicating that it's a string. Now we're going to use the EV3 Ultra Sonic sensor. We're just going to call it US. Sign new EV3 Ultra Sonic sensor. And we're going to pass in this sensor or this port of S2. And so now we need to import a bunch of stuff. We are not going to use the sound import, we're going to use the Lejos hardware port. And then down here, uh, we'll do that. And then uh, we're going to up here have a class uh, referring to our ultrasonic.java. So we're going to do ultrasonic, and then we're just going to call it ultra for short down here. Ultra is assigned a new ultrasonic, and it's going to use the US, which is our ultrasonic sensor, and then we're going to get mode, and then we're going to get the distance mode. There. So that's part one of this. Uh, part two will be uh, coming soon. Uh, so I'll see you there. Bye!